10, uh, on three, eight, two, Here's we're real close, seven, aren't we? Nine, six, six, seven, step five, on the second five, four, five, four, five, right, three, two, two, three. three. It knocked me right out of my seat. <laughs> so, so I thought I'd go with a true stuff. Thought it'd be a good road to take. Then right around 47th, I saw one that was as big as a lake. Listen, this one took my transmission out. So listen here what I say. Yeah. my new car to use. It's Dick Wilson's A.C. Prime! With tonight's guest, Ida McBeth, Dick Brown, Theo Bronson, Julie Lux, plus a Kansas City Explorer takes you somewhere you've never been before. So come with us now as we enter the basement office of A.C. Prime. Now, Dick's not in the office yet. The show just started and he's out fulfilling one of his fantasies. You know, the one where a boy from up north tries to sing the blues. <laughs> Sure, I'll tell him you called. Ah, uh, pothole blues, have you heard the news? Boy, there's no turning back now, we're up and going. Yeah, who was that guy, uh, announcer in the open? Solowitz. Are you paying him anything? Uh-uh. I love him then, great. <laughs> hey, any phone calls? Oh, yeah, let's see. The vending company called, and they will refund you the 375 bucks you lost in the candy machine last night. Great, mm -hmm. And the Midtown community dancers would like you to do an interpretive dance depicting the developments of the Sailors Project. Mm-hmm, yeah. Uh, oh, and mm -hmm. the people are here. What? Hey, hi, how are you? Come here, come with me a minute. Goodness. Gosh, it's good to see you. You know, I haven't seen some of you, my old friends, here in a while, but uh, it's good to see you and some new people out there, too. Hey, okay, uh, my name is Dick Wilson, and this is Casey Prime, okay? Well, actually, this isn't Casey Prime. This is the little area where we come when you and I need to chat. That office over there is the production office of Casey Prime. All we want to do is have a good time for a half hour and show you some of the prime musical and theatrical people here in the Kansas City area, okay? If you like what you see, let us know. You know, back to business. I was uh, over at Harry Starker's the other day and I saw Ida Macbeth. What a talent. Have you, have you seen Ida before? Let's watch her right now. Ida Macbeth on KC Prime. Got to stay alive. Better wake up. Cause the rage box is sticking in the time is
say, honey, I really didn't mean it. Sometimes it's hard in my temper rise. Pressure they magnify. It's unfair to take it out on you. She'll be back to sing another song for us here a little bit later. Have you ever at night noticed the top of the Kansas City Power and Light Building, how it changes colors? Isn't that neat? Okay, well, in just a few minutes, the Kansas City Explorer is going to take us up for an adventure to look around inside there. Huh? You okay? Dick, Julie Lux is on her way down here. Julie Lux, program yeah. manager uh, of the station. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hello, Dick. Julie, I'm uh, watching you. Julie, how are you? No. Hey, uh, anything? Uh, Perrier, uh, croissant, hundred bucks no, cash. No, came from Fedora's. No, uh -huh. thank you. I'm just here to ask you one very important question, Dick. I've been talking with the management at the yeah. station. Mm -hmm. How are you going to pay for this show? Uh, Julie, I've been working on that. Um, I've, I've come up with a way to use my television skills in another area to create some money. I could bring some reports out and things like that, but I think it's best just to show you how I'm making the extra money. Okay. Okay. Right. Well, business a little slow for me today here. It'll pick up it a bit. Hi there, how are you today? Good. Look, it looks like you got a big load there. Oh, yes. Yeah, care to be uh, interviewed for TV? Only 10 cents, just cost a dime. How long should the average kiss last? Oh, my goodness. It depends how old you are. <laughs> Where is Clay Como? Ah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> how you doing today? Well, good. Care to be um, interviewed on TV? Uh, kind, of, kind of busy, I guess, huh? Hello, ma'am. How are you today? Care to be interviewed for TV? Okay. Maybe I need an advertising agency to take over my promotion. Oh, good. Thank you. Hey, what's your name? My name is Mona Lisa. That when it just <laughs> Is this your real name? Are you, is, are you telling the truth? Yes. Yes. Do, you, do you have driver's license? Is it on your driver's license? Uh, yes, I do. Do you have that with you? Yes, I do. Let me see that. All right. okay. Let's just make sure here. All right. I mean, we're not going to be, like, taken advantage of here. All right. Let's look here just a second. Okay? Here. Here you go. Where is Clay Como? Next to Lake Tacoma. <laughs> your 
lunch go yesterday with the Stars TV critics. I tell you, I've had to cancel at the last minute. Huh? Something about an emergency article on how the number of movie rental stores in the city now has actually surpassed the actual population of the city. <laughs> Dick Brown. Oh, hey, Dick Brown, actor. Dick Gosh, I've seen you on the rep stages and dinner theater for like years now. Yeah, yeah. What are you huh? doing Have a seat. here? Well, we're doing a TV show. Oh, huh? no kidding. Yeah, look, look. The people are there. Uh. See? Yeah, there they are. Hey, have a chair. Yeah. You know, you're a busy Thanks. kind of guy. What do you, what? What do, you do uh, to take it easy at home, you know, in the office? Well, you know, I mess with my horses and enjoy my horses. Uh, yeah. This spring, I'm getting ready to do some competitive trail riding. We're going to go be right. riding 50 miles in one weekend, that sort okay. of thing. You know, I, I didn't believe this, but somebody told me that you always have a videotape of this on you at all times. Well, that's, Isn't that, that silly? Is, is ridiculous. <laughs> but uh, I do happen to have something right here today. Uh, would you like to see it? Uh, sure. Well, have a look at it. All right. <laughs> Okay, that's me and my horse, Rosalind, and we're just kind of warming up, making sure the saddle and everything is kind of ready for our trail ride. Our competitive division, the novice division, is going about 35 miles. There is an open division that will be going 50 miles over the weekend. We come in on a Friday, and then we compete on Saturday and Sunday, a total of the ride. It's a wonderful sport for the entire family. There are lots of positions a volunteer to be held even if you're not riding timing the ride pulse and respiration i would say that if you're interested in competitive trail riding you might get in touch with the show me mo trail ride club and i have a feeling your local veterinarian could tell you exactly how to get in touch with that trail ride club hey neat yeah so you know what this show really needs what's that a meteorologist a meteorologist i don't know what you, you need a weatherman on this show Okay, well, uh, Dick Brown's got a guy in the lobby who wants to audition. We'll see him later. Right now, though, it's time to adventure to some place you've never seen before. Here's volume one of the Kansas City Explorer. The Kansas City Explorer, on the corner of 14th and Baltimore, downtown Kansas City. Behind me looms the Kansas City Power and Light Building, a fixture in the Kansas City skyline. And for years, I don't know about you, but if you grew up in the Kansas City area like me, you marveled how the thing was a multicolored display at night, right on the top at least. Well, now in the spirit of true adventurism, the Kansas City Explorer cameras are going to show you something you've never seen before. Our quest, our goal, to the top and inside the, the secrets of the tower. Uh, follow me. Can we have some adventure music here or something? What's your name? I'm Cynthia. Now, you run the elevators here, right? Yes, I control the elevators. Okay, now, how many floors to the top of the tower? There are 34 floors in this building. 34, okay. Yeah. Hey, uh, pay no attention to these people back here. They're TV viewers on an adventure for the first time, okay? Okay, thank you. you, you give me an elevator here. Oh, you're already on the elevator, huh? All right, let's start a trip up here, all right? 29 floors is the first trip. 29th floor. Oh, okay. Next door. All right. What? Another elevator? All right, here we go. You see? To save the day. But, oh. <laughs> 31 floor. All right. All right, here we are now on the base of the tower. All right? The stairway here, that's kind of a nice little stairway. And it walks right on up to the top 32 floor. But first off, I'm going to check outside on the observation deck here where all the lighting is. <laughs> Back out into the cold again. Up here on the 31st floor, this is kind of a, it would be an observation deck, but the lights, of course, are in the way. But look at this uh, architectural styling here. This building was finished back in the, uh, uh, the early 30s when it was finished. I've got to take a quick peek over the side, just see how high up we are here. 159 500-watt lights bathe the tower nightly in amber, green, and white, changing color every 11 seconds. A new timer that controls the changes was installed a few years ago and is no larger than a lady's compact. It replaced the original equipment that weighed two tons. I personally feel that if King Kong broke loose in the Kansas City area, that this is the tower 
that he would climb. All right, hey, come on up. Let's look inside. We're on the 32nd floor now, elevator shafts, stairways, and that's about it. Uh, uh, many years ago, there was a, a nightclub up on the 29th floor called the Kansas City Club. And it uh, also encompassed these upper floors, and people could come out and observe and things. Of course, it's not there now, so don't try to make reservations. I didn't say it was going to be easy from here on out. We're going upstairs now where the big windows are that you see outside, those cathedral-type windows, 20 foot tall. Let's come on up the ladder here. Oh, my goodness. You okay? You coming along? Okay, let me climb on up and then we'll get you up some way. Don't worry about it. Okay. Whew. Upon entering this room, you feel like you've stepped into a small church of some sort. I wonder if anyone's ever thought of getting married up here. itself is only 20 by 20 feet. The prismed and leaded glass splashes colors on the opposite walls and also gives a very distorted look at the city below. These are still the original lights that add that red glow to the interior at night. Light bulbs stand by to keep that night glow coming. You'll find old phones and elevator motors, but when you're in this room, you can't help but keep looking up. Do you ever wonder how much it costs to light the tower at night? Well, because of the cross-fading of the colored lights and it being lit in a low peak period, it only costs $5 each night to light this tower. And now, you've explored it. If you've got some place that you'd like for us to explore in the area, send us a letter here in care of the station. Ida Macbeth is with us tonight. That's great. Uh, that first song you did was really good. Now, I, I want you to do another one a little later, if that's okay, all right? Sure. But first off, um, tell me a bit about yourself. Are you from the area here? I'm from uh, originally from Kansas City. Kansas, as a matter of fact. And how long have you been performing around here? Um, I've been here off and on for about 14 years. All right, let's find out who the other guys are in the group here, okay? Okay, uh, on the uh, lead guitar, we have Steve Cardenas. On bass, we have Forrest Stewart, Sam Johnson Jr. is on the drums, and Steve Million is on the keyboards. All right. You've been doing some recording in the area here, uh, uh, an album project. When yeah. can we see that out? Uh, it should be out maybe about four to six weeks. And the title? Uh, you Need Love Like I Do. All right. Now, I heard something one time that I looked like one of your early boyfriends. <laughs> Is yeah, true? you do kind of really? like him. Yes, you do. What was his name? <laughs> I don't want to tell you. <laughs> Not here, because he might be looking. High. Thank you. I'm, fl I'm flattered. I really am. <laughs> right. Can you do another song later then? Sure, I'd love to. All right, Ida Macbeth here <laughs> on Casey Prime. I love that last little commercial promo. I've got a copy to play at home here. Hey, you know, I've been thinking about it. I'm a little excited, kind of excited about maybe a weatherman on the show, a meteorologist. You know, the other stations tout their chief meteorologist all the time. Why not us? Dick Brown was in here a while ago, said he had a guy ready to audition. So I guess this would be our potential chief meteorologist if we have one here. Me chief. Me big chief meteorologist. Others call self Chief Meteorologist, Dusik, Thompson, Henry. Me chief, me big chief. Give weather, round country. All wet, big hey, wet. Hey, big wet. just a minute, wait, wait what, what is this? Are, are you for real? Chief real, big chief meteorologist, do, uh, real. Do you do current conditions or anything like that? No current conditions, want current conditions, look outside. Give them forecast. Give them forecast with forecast weather feather. No wind, no wind. Weather feather, dry, dry, all dry, all dry. Well, I guess he's just about as scientific as the other guys. I don't know. Oh, gee. Okay. Dick, 
It's your publisher. Um, he wants to know if you finished that pop-up book on the history of toll booths on the Broadway Bridge. Mm. Take a number, okay? okay? Hey, you know, I'm ready for some more Ida Macbeth. Here you go, Ida Macbeth on KC Pro. <laughs> Macbeth. Watch for her, folks, around town and look for her new album, too. Well, that about does it for KC Prime. We're glad you're watching, and if you have comments, we'd love to hear them. We need to hear them, matter of fact. Send your cards or letters to KSHB-TV, 4720 Oak, Kansas City, Missouri, 64112. By the way, this note just in. Extremely thin people are encouraged to rent space at the city's newest office structure. One half Jenkins Place is the only building downtown where you can wave out the front and back of the building at the same time. <laughs> Dick, it's the Convention and Visitors Bureau, and they want to know if you finished that pamphlet on where to get great sliced tomatoes in Kansas City. <laughs> uh, take a number. Uh, uh.